We thank the Lord for those that have joined him. We bless the Lord for his mighty works and his glory. The Lord is good, awesome in power. I know you've just joined in, and this is our second night warfare at midnight. The second night of our prayer of the 14 nights where we'll be doing warfare for a few minutes at midnight. Welcome, and I know you are inviting a friend, those that are joined in on different platforms. The Lord bless you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. It shall be well with you. By the end of these 14 days, the Lord shall reverse whatever the enemy was doing in your life. The Lord shall unseat every power that is conceit, occupying your seats in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, our, our contention is with spiritual powers called horns. Spiritual powers called horns. That is our approach tonight. We are looking at those forces, those powers, that when you see you are under severe attack, sometimes not just a mere demon, oftentimes it is a spiritual personality called the horns. You know, many of you do not understand this language, but I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will, will learn more about contending with spiritual personalities. When the battle has shifted from just attacking you, but now engaging and involving unseen personalities in the realm of the spirit, you need to arise and contend in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Welcome and the Lord bless you mightily. We thank the Lord for this moment. We secure this moment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We secure it in the spirit. We secure it right now we ask the angels of the Lord to encamp around about this moment. We ask the watchers, we ask the warriors, we ask the seers, we ask the prophetic watchmen to be present in this meeting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. We ask for the opening of the heavenly portal in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask for connection and communion. We ask that the Lord God will, will hear and respond to our prayers as we war in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare tonight that it's not by mighty, nor by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. And so, as I said, every night we shall be looking at different, uh, different enemies, what the enemy, the devil, uh, employs. I always say you need to know your target, and you need to know when. You need to know what are you attacking, what are you dealing with. Now, if you have been having stubborn situations, you are under severe spiritual attack. There are cases, yesterday I talked about, they may be manipulation, it may be witchcraft. But now let's go deeper. It may be spiritual powers called horns. The horns, the enemy has employed those forces which the Bible calls horns. And when you have understood how to deal with such then you are willing and you are strong enough. My Bible says in the book of Zechariah, our, our theme today is dealing with evil horns. I wanted to do a, a simple teaching of 10 minutes and then the next 30 minutes we shall pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. You are already in the realm of victory. Whatever has come your way, you have the ability, you have the power to overcome it. By the authority Jesus has given you, you shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. We give glory to the Lord who has already given us victory. And we are fighting from the realm, from the position of victory. We are already overcomers. He who is born of God overcomes the world. Now look at the scripture. The book of Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18. Uh, the, the slide is on your screen. Uh, Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18 to 21. And I lifted my eyes and saw and behold four horns. And I said to the angel who talked with me, what are these? And he said to me, these are the horns 
that have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Then the Lord showed me four craftsmen, and I said, what are these coming to do? What are these coming to do? He said, he said to me, he said, these are horns that scattered Judah, so that no one raised his head. And these have come to terrify them, to cast down the horns of the nations who lifted up their horns, their horns against the land and the land of Judah to scatter it. So you see, the prophet sees an image in the realm of the spirit. Israel was scattered. No one could raise up their heads. And then he asked, what are these I'm seeing in the spirit? And the Lord and the angel said, these are the horns. And then he showed him the carpenters, the divine craftsmen that are coming to terrify the horns. So our prayer tonight, we are, we are engaging, and I'm, I believe that as we engage tonight, the Lord shall release his carpenters against stubborn witches. Look at Psalms 75 and verse 10. Psalms 75 and verse 10. All the horns of the wicked. Psalms 75 and verse 10. If you can see it. All the horns of the wicked also I will cut off. But the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. The horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Hallelujah. But let me say something as we start today. Because you need one of the weapons, the axe. Before I proceed, let me ask you. Do you still have your axe head? Or it is lost? A believer who has lost his axe must look for the axe in order to progress. Have you lost your axe or you have it? Evil horns specialize in loss, shedding blood, destroying lives, and destroying families. They are taskmasters. They scatter and demote. They are heartless. They are very corrupt. And I think now you can see that an enemy has come to demote you, to scatter, and cause all kinds of corruption. Horns are spiritual, but we must now know they use people. They are wicked powers. They produce negative and terrible dreams, and they are often causing violence and death. But I want to note this. They seek shame and they seek human blood. They incite men. They incite people against you. They cooperate with ancestral, territorial, and generational spirits to deal with you. So they bring familiar spirits. But when you rise, the Lord wants to give you the nation. And he will use you as a rod of iron to dash them in pieces. Somebody say, Amen. The Lord shall use you. The Bible says in Psalms 2, verse 8 and verse 9, Ask of me, and I will give you the nations as your inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth as your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and you shall dash them in pieces like a potter's ware. You shall dash them in pieces. Praise the Lord. Now, signs you are under attack by evil horns. These are signs. Because it's very important to know the signs so that you know how you can approach it. It's very important. And uh, sign number one, Sign number one. Do you notice chains of misfortune? Do you notice? And I want you to please write those signs so that you can, you are able to, to, to check yourself 
then you apply the prayer. Do you notice chains of uh, misfortune? Number two, do you see extreme profitless hard work? Number three, do you see failure at the age of breakthrough? That always you break, you, if you see, please tell me and say, Pastor uh, James, I, I see this, I see this in my life, I see this in my family. Number three, number four, are you constantly harassed by witchcraft? Number five, Number, do you as your promotion being stolen? That's number six. Are we together? Has your promotion been stolen? Number seven. Are you experiencing marital turbulences? Number eight. Have you discovered that anywhere you go, your presence ignites hatred? Number nine. Do you notice that you go to wrong churches? Number 10, do you have unexplained fear? Terrible unexplained fear? Number 11, do you always get attracted to evil personalities? Number 12, do you suffer extreme Restlessness. Number eight, number thirteen. Do you have severe healthy problems? Next, number fourteen. Do you desire to always do the right thing, but unable? Lastly, I want to say, all these are signs of evil horns attacking you and scattering you. Now, it is, we are almost at the gate and I want you to get your pain. I want you to invite a friend. I want to get ready because you're going to fire prayer points in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to fire for the next 30 minutes these prayer points. Pray like this. Oh, carpenter of God, break the horns of darkness to unrepairable pieces in the name of Jesus. Oh, carpenter of God. Now, I want to get ready. I want to declare it at this particular hour. Declare that into the midnight hour and say, Oh, carpenter of God, break the horns of darkness. Break the horns of darkness. Break the horns of darkness to unrepairable pieces in the name of Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. Every time you fire an arrow, you release fire by prayer of tongues. I prophesy against the, the horns. Woe unto you, evil horns. You shall be no more. You shall not scatter that family again. You shall not block them right in the name of Jesus. I bring God's people before the Lord. And I say, Lord God, let your carpenters war against evil altars in the mighty name of Jesus.
Radebrikasataya. Let's now pray. Every arrow fired against my breakthrough. Break now in the name of Jesus. Every arrow fired against my breakthrough. Break now in the mighty name of Jesus. Kazaka tabradebo shikara. Every arrow fired against my breakthrough. Break now in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody put on fire. Come on, put on the garment of fire. Put on the warrior's garment. Be dressed in the warrior's spirit. Every arrow fired against my breakthrough. Break now in the name of Jesus. Every arrow fired against my breakthrough. Break now in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray and say, every arrow fired against my breakthrough. Break now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, before they are fired, let them break. Every hand that is firing evil arrows against your breakthrough, be paralyzed now. Be paralyzed now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I paralyze the hand that is pointing at you to destroy you. Every power intending to shoot your ministry, intending to shoot your life, I confuse it before it arises. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord shall frustrate the archers, the shooters of the kingdom of darkness. Arise, mighty God, and frustrate the schemes of the evil arrows in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now let's continue praying and say every power causing stagnancy in my life that's the next prayer point. Every power causing stagnancy in my life be disgraced forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Be disgraced forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and lift your voice and pray and say every power causing stagnancy in my life. You know, this moment, midnight hour, is an hour of war, is an hour of authority. You are not begging. You are taking authority because God is now releasing his army to execute what you fire in the mighty name of Yeshua. Every power causing stagnance in my life be disgraced forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power, somebody pray that every power causing stagnance in my life be disgraced forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Come on, pray that prayer. Every power causing stagnancy in the life of my spouse. Every power causing stagnancy in my ministry. Every power causing stagnancy in my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, be disgraced forever. Be disgraced forever. Be disgraced forever. Cabra de Boshikaraba. Be disgraced forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shakata bradeboshi. Matara de Kerebo. Shikata Karababakoya. Kerebo Shitara Babaya. Matara Kerebo Shiria. Let's continue to pray. I lift up my head. Someone said, pray. And say, I lift up my head this year. In the name of Jesus. I lift up my head this year. In the name of Jesus. I lift up my head this year. In the name of Jesus. I lift up my head this week. In the name of Jesus. I lift up my head this month. In the name of Jesus. I lift up my head this month. In the name of Jesus. Let's go to pray. Every hunter looking for my destiny. Be blinded. Be blinded. Be blinded. Come on, pray. That every hunter looking for my destiny. Be blinded in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, you need to pray that one by, by force. Every hunter looking for my destiny, be blinded in the name of Jesus. Every hunter in the name of Jesus Christ. Now pray and say, I break loose and break free from witchcraft covens and altars in the name of Jesus Christ. I break loose, I break free from witchcraft covens and altars in the name of Jesus Christ. As I pray right now, peace is coming in your home. Peace is coming in your family. Something that has been holding your back is breaking right now. Every covenant that has been claiming you is being scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me hear a sound of, sound of tonight. 
a sound of a warrior because the covens and the altars are broken now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, son of the living God. And I want to pray that all witchcraft thrones around my territory be cast down and perish with all your summonings in the name of Jesus Christ. All witchcraft thrones around my territory be cast down and perish with all your summoning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Raise your voice and pray and say, all witchcraft thrones be broken, be in my territory. Let's pray next. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, arise and shatter to desolation all networking and trafficking of witchcraft in the heavens, in the firmament, in the air, in the land, and in the waters, in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, arise and shatter to desolation all networkings and trafficking of witchcraft in the heavens, the firmament, air, land, and waters, in Jesus' name. I command, now take authority, and say, I command, Cabra de Bushara, I command the defensive and offensive weapon of my adversary to fail and perish by the blood of Jesus Christ. Remember, these are decrees at midnight that the weapons of your enemy shall fail and perish. Oh, hallelujah. I have seen people die when they are about to get promoted. I have seen people disappointed because they see they are not going forward. Because the weapons of the enemies are always prospering. But I want to decree at midnight and say, I command the defensive and offensive weapons of my adversaries to fail and perish. Fail and perish. Fail and perish by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. The weapons, defensive, offensive weapons of Satan fail and perish. Fail and perish. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Midnight war. Midnight warfare. Pray by fire. I don't see you praying. Kabra de Boshiri. Sakata Karaba. Rinde de Boboshiria. Rakata Rabaria. Rinde de Boboshara. Masakata. Rinde de Boboshara. Rate de Bobosha. Zikataya. Rinde de Are you praying? Can you lift your voice and pray? In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command the defensive and offensive. Now pray in this gate, the first. 15 minutes of the day should determine how the day will go because warfare decisions are made and determined at the hour of midnight in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Blood of Jesus. Now let's continue. Prayer point next. Blood of Jesus. Break asunder. Rebuke. And make desolation. Make desolation, make desolate every program in the heavens that would operate against me through the sun, the moon, the stars, and the constellations in the name of Jesus, Son of the Living God. Kabra de Boshiria, Yandara Babaka, Rinde de Boboshita, Zandara Mamatea, Kere Boboshikara, Ratabra de Bosh, Zataradia, Blood of Jesus, break asunder rebuke and make desolate every program in the heavens that would operate against me through the sun, through the moon, the stars and the constellations in the name of Jesus Christ son of the living God yes shall come to pass yes it shall come to pass yes I release you from the evil programming in the sun and the stars whatever has been enchanting Towards the sun against your life. Towards the sun against your business. Towards the sun against your marriage. Shara Baba Kata. The blood of Jesus. Break asunder. Rebuke. Make desolate. In the mighty name of Jesus. Make desolate. Make desolate. 
in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God, through the blood of Jesus, I command all spirit of lust, perversion, adultery, fornication, and cleanness, and immorality to come out of my life, to come out of my life in Jesus' name. Through the blood of Jesus, I command all spirits of lust, perversion, adultery, adultery, and fornication, and cleanness, and immorality to come out of my life. Through the blood of Jesus, I command all spirits of witchcraft, sorcery, divination, and the occult to come out of my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus, I destroy all ancestral spirits of Freemasonry, idolatry, witchcraft, false religion, polygamy, lust, and perversion in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, through the blood of Jesus, I destroy all ancestral spirits of Freemasonry, idolatry, witchcraft, false religion, polygamy, lust, and perversion in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to remind you that those, the spirit of idolatry, witchcraft, false religion, polygamy, lust, perversion, sorcery, divination, witchcraft, are the gates the enemy has been looking at in your family, in your bloodline, and I use them to attack you. In the mighty and glorious name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, my Father and my God, who oh, whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Our faith. I am born of God, saved by grace alone, through his mercies, and being redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I prevail over curses. I prevail over curses. I overcome generational bondages in Jesus' name. Someone pray and say, I prevail over curses. I prevail over curses. I prevail over curses. And I overcome generational bondages. Generational bondages. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Our faith. I am born of God, saved by grace alone through his mercies and, uh, and being redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I prevail over curses and overcome generational bondages in Jesus' name. Pray it one more time and say, I prevail over curses. I want somebody to say amen. I prevail over curses. I prevail over witches. I prevail over wizards. I prevail over water spirits. I prevail over the horns and, and overcome generational bondages, lingering bondages, lingering bondages. I release the captives of my father's house. I release the captives of my city. I release the captives, the prisoners of my city. I release them from the powers of darkness. I release them from the evil horns. The power that has been scattering marriages, delaying marriages, obstructing businesses, scattering your finances. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the next 12 nights, you shall see breakthrough upon breakthrough. I lift you before the Lord. I call forth the armies of God, the warring angels and the watchers to come on your behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I call upon the weapons of fire. I call upon the walloping whips of God. I call upon the thunder of God. I call upon the lightning of God. I call upon coals of fire against the enemy, against witchcraft, against sin, against the powers of darkness, against sorcery, against the occult. The Lord expose every power of the occult the Lord exposed secret societies, secret clubs, the occults that have detained and exchanged your destiny. The Lord smite them right now by the fire of the Holy Spirit. I release you from the spirit of confusion. I release you from mental illness. I release you from witchcraft manipulation. Whatever manipulates your life, whatever has delayed your conception, I bind it, I root it out. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind the horns. I bind the horns and root them out. I release you from the bondage of death. I release you from the spirit of stagnation. I release you from the covenants and claims of bitterness. I release you from fear and spiritual pride. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I remove the yoke from your life. Rikarabako Shadaya. Zakata Bradebo Shikiria. Mataradadadada. May let God arise and his enemy be scattered. The Lord God who answers by fire, answer you right now. I silence voices. Every voice that speaks in your life. Every voice speaking failure. Every voice bring fear. I silence the destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. May God arise and judge them. May God arise and destroy them. I scatter them out of your life. Let them flee in the name of Jesus Christ. They will never attack you. They will never obstruct your life. You will never be a victim of rumors. You will never be a victim of slander. Recover your money. Recover your finances. Recover your position. Recover your marriage. Arise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever has been obstructing your life, whatever has been delaying your marriage, whatever said you never marry, I break its contrast power. I renounce its covenants right now. I speak the new covenant of the blood of Jesus. I speak the new covenant of the blood of Jesus. I speak the new covenant of the blood of Jesus. I speak the new covenant of the blood of Jesus. I speak the covenant of the blood of Jesus. To nullify, to dismiss ungodly evil covenants. Every covenant now the enemy has been using against you. I dismiss it in the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus dismiss now. I see someone you are getting free right now. I see you are rising in prayer. I see the fire of God coming upon you. Things are running out of your body. Things are running out of your back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever had polluted your life, every defilement in your house, I root it out right now. Let there be cleansing fire. I cleanse you from witchcraft. I command the demon to leave. I command the, the power of bipolar to leave, the spirit of confusion, schizophrenia, bipolar, depression, witchcraft, fear, poverty. Hear me right now. I bind you and I command you to lose and go. Get out right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. Whatever has been telling you to settle for failure, whatever has been traumatizing you in the realm of failure, I command to flee now. The Lord judge it now. The fire of the Holy Spirit burn to ashes. The Spirit of the Lord descend mightily to destroy. Kabra debo shara, kabra debo shikataya, kabra debo bo shande debo riyebo, rinde debo bo shatarabare. Whatever they took your name for evil, let fire consume that place. What over altar they took your picture they took your ring they took whatever belongs to you i send the fire of god at the midnight hour to terrify that assembly to terrify that cancer of wickedness to terrify the altars of darkness to overthrow the thrones of witchcraft Mazakata bradebosha, zekete kerebobo shata. Somebody rage war right now. I've made decrees at the midnight hour, and the moment now for your release is now. By the power and the fire of the Holy Spirit, arise in power. Kabra debo shara. Arise and pray. Kabra kerebobo shara. Do not permit the enemy to make you sort settle for failure, to make you settle for just enough. Do not give up. Arise right now. Do not give up. Rikerebobo shita. The twelve nights remaining. You shall recover all. You shall recover all. You shall recover your marriage. You shall recover all. Take back what belongs to you. Arise and take what is yours. I call forth your mate. I call forth, I call now, right now. Your husband, your children, your marriage, your business, your finances. Arise and break through. You overcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world. That is our faith in the name of Jesus Christ. You are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. You are redeemed. We are the redeemed of the Lord. We are the redeemed of the Lord. You are the redeemed of the Lord. You prevail over curses. You prevail over slandering tongues. You prevail over powers of witchcraft. Whom the Lord has blessed, no one can curse. I speak a blessing over your business. I speak a blessing over your business, over your company right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any company that was blacklisted in the spirit, 
I remove that embargo, any evil sanction on your life that they sanction to fail. I challenge it by fire. I challenge it in the courts of heaven. I remove the embargo, the sanction, the limitation on your life. I overcome political sanctions, spiritual sanctions over your ministry and over your life. I awaken your children into their marriage. I awaken yourself to be into your marriage. I cause you to meet your spouse. I cause you to walk in fruitful marriages. I cause you to walk in breakthroughs upon breakthroughs. I cause you to walk in productivity and fruitfulness. I cause you to arise. I cause you to prosper by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause you to do many things in the Lord. Arise now. The Lord charge you to overcome. The Lord charge you to overcome. My God and my Father, you shall smite and judge the evil altars of stagnancy. You shall smite and judge the altars of failure. You shall smite and judge the high places of the wicked. My Father and my God, we overcome principalities of poverty. We overcome principalities of witches and the ruling spirits and the controlling powers. My God, my Father, arise against they that have mocked your name. Arise against the powers that have delayed your miracle. My Father, my God, your miracle working power, the supernatural power in the name of Jesus, begin to work right now. I push back darkness. I remove the control of the enemy. I take off whatever the enemy had put upon my life. Every evil mark on your body, somebody I remove it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I charge you to pray. Someone you've just joined in, you could not pray, but right now the power of God is coming upon you to pray. The power of God is coming upon you to pray. The spirit of war, the spirit of the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violence taken by force. Will you arise right now in the might and glorious name of Jesus Christ to win this war, to win this battle? Friends, I declare right now, it's now and forever. It's now and forever. It must be done today. It must end today. It must end today. I end the cycle of misfortune. I end the cycles of failure. I end the cycles of fear. And I release this night the flying scroll of the Lord against the thief. The flying scroll of the Lord against the thief. The flying scroll of the Lord against the thief. Against the thief. That which has robbed and stolen your destiny. That which has robbed your life which has robbed your land, has taken away your joy, is taking away your children. I release in the name of Jesus the flying scroll of the Lord, the flying scroll in the Bible, to pursue the thief, to pursue the robber, robbers of marriages, robbers of time, robbers, wasters, kabrada bokosha, kazaka takaria, kere kere bobo shana, matara bakoria, brindere bobo shata. Is somebody waging war? Something has delayed you? Robbed your time? Stolen your joy. Oh, the thief. Do you see a thief? Satan in your life has been stealing from you. Now you are ashamed. You can't even pay fees for your children. You can't even pay your rent. You can't even build. You can't marry. Rise, arise right now. Arise the words of your mouth. Bind a strong man and ask the Lord to release this flying scroll. The flying scroll of the Lord. To fly. To pursue the thief. To cut the thief. In the mighty name of Jesus, something is screaming and leaving your body. Something is leaving your life. Something is leaving your son. Something is leaving your son. Your daughter and your son. In the mighty name of Jesus, someone praying right now, there is a release upon your life. As you go tomorrow, as you go today, many shall call you. Favor is coming your way. Joy is coming your way. Business opportunities, marriages, health, the witchcraft that causes mental illness, into your spouse. I destroy it right now. The yoke that was placed upon you, I break it now by the anointing, by the anointing. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. And I declare today the opening of the prisons, the releasing of the captives. And Lord God Almighty, grant us access to treasures. Grant us access to wealth. Grant us access to wisdom. Grant us access to the spirit of wisdom. In the mighty and glorious name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. Hallelujah. It is done. Someone say it's done. Oh my God. Oh my God. I see this army. Oh my God. I see the sword of the Lord 
Oh, Radabra, I see the fire of God. Somebody, as I pray right now, that is what is happening to you. Oh, my God, oh, my God, your eyes are opening. The Lord has just shown you a vision. He's showing you what was done. He's showing you the hiding place of the devil, of the demons and the spirits. I break the stronghold that you will see and you will defeat. You will never be defeated. Oh, Rabbi you attract finances everywhere you go. You attract more than you need from today. You attract more money than you need. And you cannot, oh hallelujah, do other words. But everywhere you go, everything you touch shall prosper. Let me declare from today, you attract, you draw more than you need. More than enough. Much more. Someone declare and say, I'm entering the season of much more. You ask for one child, the Lord shall give you three. You ask for two, he will give you more than you ask or imagine. According to the power that is at work in you, I declare much more. You were refused once, but four opportunities are coming. One business was blocked, but three opportunities are coming. Let me speak to you. You were rejected once, and you are going through a season of rejection. Actually, you feel so low because of a recent rejection, but behold, Within the next 12 nights, four opportunities shall come. And this time, it will be effortless. It will be effortless breakthrough. You will not struggle. You will not strive. I see the Lord saying, tell my people, there is much more I'm going to do in the next 12 nights remaining. I'm going to do much more in their lives, much more in their ministries, much more in their bodies, much more in their cities, much more than, because not much more, more than they've asked. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let someone declare and write it and say, I receive the much more anointing. The anointing of much more than I've asked. You attract it. You draw it. We overcome. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, bless the Lord for the victories. Oh, bless the Lord for the healing. Oh, bless the Lord for the unique miracles, signs, and wonders. Just to remind we have 14 nights we've covered two warfare at midnight and we have the next 12 please join me tomorrow same time, 15 minutes to midnight and we begin the prayer we begin the war we begin to decree we're going to do it consistently for the next 12 nights the Lord shall show himself mighty in the mighty name of Jesus as our custom always want to bless those that are saying Pastor James, I feel I need to give an offering. I need to give to the Lord. I need to put something on the altar. Because these 14 days of the altar, at least every day, you release an offering on the altar. It's, it's a principle. And we do it on this altar. So I want to agree with you. Every time you send your offering, uh, that night I lay it before the Lord. I pray uh, and I declare that the Lord Ajuna uh, Musinguzi, we have received it. God bless you so much. Why do I mention it? Because I believe by mentioning your name, the angels pick it, and the Lord will do mighty things. I want to thank those that have been consistent giving every day on this altar. But the next, these 14 days, you did it yesterday, you are doing it today, and may you do it the next 12 days. I want to pray for the men and women that are saying, Pastor James, this is my prayer offering in the name of Jesus. I want also to remind that there are people that are saying, Pastor James, send me, the, send me the prayer points. I may not be able to send to all of you the prayer points because of time. I'm always in prayer. I'm doing different things. I only send prayer points to those that have registered for the high-density training school. If you have registered for high-density training uh, intercession school I will send the prayer points but I can't send to everyone because of time so I send them on the group I pray in the name of Jesus Christ oh somebody God bless you so much uh, God bless you may you send me your name okay the Lord bless you wants your name on whatsapp that I bless you in Jesus name thank you so much thank you that you've joined in God bless you God bless you 
please be, be free to send your prayer request the lord bless you someone is saying my brenda has attacked during the night we release brenda from the yoke that's holding her in the mighty name of jesus christ son of the living god please feel free to send your prayer request i will gladly lift you in prayer especially these 14 nights every night i am before the lord the lord bless you so much we'll send the fifty thousand. the lord bless you from airtel the lord bless you so much in the mighty name of father i come with my brothers and sisters who have released the sacrifice on the altar may they be registered on this altar let their sacrifice be a weapon against any part of darkness i release them into financial breakthroughs let them attract those finances everywhere they go in whatever they do i establish the blessing of the lord in jesus name shalom let's meet tomorrow watch again this share it and pray those prayers the lord bless you amen Worship to